Friends, do you get angry like I do when you're hindered doing grocery deliveries? I'm going to help you manage these infuriating roadblocks to make things as easy as possible. Finally, I'll share the details of my phenomenal earnings. When you see those earnings, I think you're going to want to sign up to be an Amazon Flex driver too. I was recently surprised and grateful when I kept receiving Amazon Flex grocery orders all day. Yes, the work is great. However, I get beyond annoyed having to work in an area that hinders drivers. By the way, the tips that I'll share will help you for all the gig economy apps. Later, please do share how they've made your life happier. My name is Russ, and I'm so glad to share ways to help increase your earnings and ratings based on my vast experience doing gig work part-time going on six years. You'll benefit by not having to learn lessons the hard way. To more clearly identify hindrances, it's important to understand the market. There are many markets comprised of dense urban areas all the way out to remote, less populated areas. Each retains its own pros and cons. But in general, we aren't really able to travel too far from our market. I live and work in suburban areas, mostly with houses. Ventura County is about an hour north of Los Angeles. Notice I specify time away from Los Angeles, not miles. That's due to traffic. Traffic is a huge hindrance, and I'll cover that later. Frequently, I get Amazon Flex, Amazon Fresh grocery deliveries that take me into the San Fernando Valley. The term Valley Girl stemmed from the San Fernando Valley back in the 80s. As time has passed, the area has become even more densely populated and also suffered from increased crime, drug and alcohol abuse, as well as homelessness. This leads into the hindrances that prevent drivers from doing their jobs. The ideal delivery environment is where there's no traffic. I'm sure that we've all noticed when schools let out in the afternoon and then people are returning from work, that's going to increase the time you need to do deliveries. In the San Fernando Valley, traffic is moderate all day. Time is money, and so the best tip for this is to deliver in periods of lower traffic. Or just realize you're going to make less money because it takes longer to deliver in that market. Another hindrance is there's no parking for the most part. How can Amazon expect me to deliver on time when you can't legally or physically park in order to deliver the groceries? This is insane. This mostly applies to apartment complexes. Now, most of the time, apartment residents have their own parking on the property or underground garages. This means there's very little guest parking. There are some complexes where I cannot physically park inside, such as retirement homes or assisted living homes. This forces me to park on the street. Many other people already park on the street. Now, there are two things that you can do to help yourself. The first is don't actually plan on being able to park right away. So as you get close to the destination, start paying attention for available parking, even though it's far away. Next, drive by the entrance and see if you're actually going to have to park on the street or be able to enter the complex. Parking limitations are real. Strive to do what's most legal. And that's just how it is. The next thing you can do is have a folding wagon. I love these. This will prove invaluable when you have to park further away. Most of the time, I'm able to carry a bag or two at a time and make several trips when parking out front of a customer's home. Now, this is not the case when having to park far away. Yes, it takes up a little space in your trunk, but believe me, when you desperately need it, you're not going to care how long you've been driving it around. If you're benefiting from this information so far, would you like the video and also like the channel? That's all I ask for, and I really appreciate it. Thank you. Hi, this is Russ with Amazon Flex. Oh, I'm at the gate, the entrance, but I can't get inside. To keep apartment dwellers safe, I've noticed that there's restricted access in the form of gate codes to hinder anyone who doesn't live there from getting in. This is a massive driver hindrance. Can you imagine having to use a code and shuttle groceries many times through that entrance? This is another reason why having a folding wagon will make your life so much easier. There's truly nothing more infuriating when the access code doesn't work and the customer isn't answering the phone. 
Although there are no guarantees, a few times I've asked other people that I see to let me in, and I'm so glad when they do. Another variation of this is waiting to be able to drive your car through an entrance by following someone else. This is quite common when doing regular food delivery. So there's only a perception of safety for those that live behind a security door or gate. I realize that Amazon feels that drivers have all the necessary information to be able to complete those deliveries on time. But I'll tell you, it'd be nice for them to realize that nothing is perfect. I ended up doing three blocks that day and I was upset quite a few times. Being angry is another hindrance and being angry comes with severe consequences. I did recognize that I was getting angry and reminded myself to settle down as that's how you're going to have accidents, tickets, and reduced tips. I recommend that you only turn left at a light, ideally at a protected light. You risk an accident whenever you're trying to cross traffic turning left necessarily you can just turn right a few times and likely be on your way another thing you can do is drink water eat food so that you're feeling well and remain happy when you have to walk long distances in the heat consider it a form of exercise that you're getting paid to do versus paying to go to a gym i can't overemphasize enough just how dangerous uncontrolled anger can be when doing amazon flex or really at any time what other things trigger anger in yourself? A real hindrance in the valley and other places in Los Angeles County is the lack of easy restroom access. Restroom access is limited because of abuse. People like to abuse drugs, alcohol, bathe, and even sleep in restrooms. My tip for you is go to larger department stores like Target or Walmart. Stay away from parks. Now in safer areas, you should rely on parks as they're mostly always available. Speaking of safety, dangerous people are another hindrance. Try to stay away from danger. You should escape at all costs. Do carry protection should you come into contact with a dangerous person. I frequently do Amazon flex blocks in the San Fernando Valley, and there are some definite differences compared to Ventura County. Are those differences worth the earnings? You can be the judge of that. I made a lot of money doing these three blocks, and I'll tell you what, it's exciting. I drove 150 miles that day, roughly 35 to 40 of that was for regular food delivery. So let's go with 110 miles for Amazon Flex. That day, I made $208 for 18 stops. Base pay was $132.50. Tips came in at 75.72. Now you can see that tips really help make this a worthwhile gig. Keep in mind, we never think of tipping our Amazon Flex driver that brings us packages, but thankfully people are considerate of the Amazon Flex driver bringing those groceries. So here's the breakdown of those blocks. When you do the math, that works out three and a half hours of work. That gives you $37.85 per hour with just base pay, almost $60 an hour with tips. Sure, you can add 30 minutes to head back home, but overall, that is really great pay. Here in California, I did receive extra pay known as Prop 22. So that added another $30.50 to my earnings. So that, when you do the math, works out to $238.77. Divide that by three and a half hours, I made $68 an hour. That is awesome. I'm telling you, if I would get these orders all day, I would do them. I have realized that I need to make myself available to accept regular deliveries in order to get to a higher level so then I can schedule the grocery deliveries. Until then, I'll just see what I can get when marking myself available. Do you know that you can do grocery deliveries from two other stores besides Amazon Fresh? You can deliver from Bristol Market and Whole Foods in my area. Things are different when you deliver from those places. I had a blast doing this Whole Foods delivery, and you can learn my five insights and get to see them in action by watching this video next.